Giselle Frond was a photographer born in Germany in 1908 and fled to France in 1933 when the country of Germany was under Nazi rule. She is best known for her documentary photography and portraits of writers and artists such as Simone de Beauvoir, Frida Kahlo, and Virginia Woolf. Her best-known book, Photography a Society, made in 1974, is about the uses and abuses of the photographic medium in the age of technological reproduction. Frun made numerous contributions to the art of photography, won numerous awards, and achieved astounding accomplishments like being the president of the French Association of Photographers and being the first photographer to be honored with a retrospective at the Musée National des Arts Modernes in Paris. Her major contributions to photography include using the Leica camera, documentary reportage, and her development of uniquely candid portraiture style. As you will see in the following photographs, Froon's work is in black and white. Though this can be accredited to her time period, the use, in, the use of black and white adds to the aesthetic and skillfulness of her photography. In Froon's famous photograph, Tierre de Fue, Argentina, unknown, this is a uniquely candid portraiture style and how it comes to light. The stern expression on the woman's face displays the multitude of emotions that allow Frun's audience to dictate the meaning behind the portrait as well as the context. Additionally, the use of diffused lighting in this photograph adds to the skillfulness and the beauty of the photograph itself. The same can be said for her portrait of Henry Michaud in 1968 to 1969. In this portrait, you can see the perplexed expression on the man's face. This portrait is seemingly candid and allows the viewer to come to their own conclusions about the context of the photo. Frund also uses the skill of the bullseye shot to photograph Henri Michaud. The portrait of Eva Piron in 1951, as displayed, shows Frund's use of the bullseye shot and a medium as there were two other people surrounding Eva as her picture was taken. This also adds to the seemingly candid use of her portraiture style. Being a Jewish woman to escape Germany just as Hitler came to power, Frun took many photographs focusing on politics and advocacy. It is said that she escaped to Paris with her negatives of anti-fascist students strapped around her body to get them past the border guards into Paris. The impacts of her political photographs can be shown in her photo, Boris Pasternak Smiles on the Podium of He Writers Congress, 1980-1985. Her use of diffused lighting adds to the meaning and significance of the photo and the event formed photographed, as well as the use of the bullseye shot once again. Being that Frund earned her PhD in the social implications of photography, a lot of her work is interpretive and ethically evaluative. This is in addition to being aesthetically evaluative, as her work shows a deep beauty and complexity of human emotion. This is in addition to her basic skills of photography, such as side lighting, as shown. Through her skills and meaningful and beautiful photographs, Froome changed the face of photography and influenced the photographs we take today.